this is a brief discussion into um, paints and their dry enzymes. Um, acrylic paint will dry in 20 to 15 minutes, no problem at all. Um, it would take a little longer to cure fully, but you, you can normally put on coats, additional coats of paint, you know, within 15 minutes and quicker if you use a hairdryer. Um, but when it comes to uh, primers and um, lacquers and varnishes, um, they take a lot longer to cure. Um, some primers will take actually up to three weeks to fully cure. It all depends on how thick, how thin you put the paint on, whether you've had mediums, whether you've added gels to it that all of that will affect the dry in time. Um, the temperature and humidity um, will affect the dry in time and the ventilation in the room will also affect dry in times. So using another device um, to improve this um, is beneficial in my um, model making really. And I use a de you know, dehydrator and I've got a fairly large one. The tabletop ones that you can buy um, will be okay, but they won't take decent sized models. Um, the one I've got is large enough that it takes 10 trays. Um, it comes with 10 steel trays and four plastic trays. And I can set it to dry and heat up the models for four hours or more, whichever I want, and at the temperature that I want to dry them at. And after four hours, primers and varnishes are cured exactly the same as leaving them for three weeks in the air. And for me, this is very beneficial. It means that I can get on, you know, with building my model. Um, you know, it is a food dehydrator, so it can be used um, for meats and fish and fruit as well. Um, and I do put uh, fruit in when I'm drying the uh, model. The main thing to be aware of when you're using these dehydrators is not to put the model in wet, that will affect the paint. Um, you just need to give them 5 to 10 minutes just to skim over the top of the paint just to cure off a little tiny bit before you put them in. Um, I put them straight on to parchment paper, um, but I have uh, put them onto the um, stainless steel trays before and it hasn't affected the model at all. Um, and I know other people um, will put them on cocktail sticks and put them in to keep them off the trays, but um, I found that putting them straight on to parchment paper on a steel tray, um, I've had, even with the thinnest uh, plastic models, I've had no, no problems at all. Um, so it's something that's worth considering, you know, if you want to speed up your process when uh, painting your models. And um, I hope it's uh, been helpful to you. Hi, this is a dehydrator. Um, when we paint um, model kits, uh, plastic parts, uh, the primer varnishes and lacquers can take anything up to three weeks to fully cure. Um, acrylic paint is different, it will cure you know within 20 or 15 minutes. Um, it does vary um, depending on the uh, temperature of the room, the humidity, the airflow, um, whether there's a draft or whether it's hot, whether it's humid. Um, <clears throat> and having to wait three weeks can be a bit of a bind really if you want to get on with the model. Do Dehumidifiers will shorten that time greatly. 
Uh, this particular one comes with 10 steel trays and 4 plastic trays and it's large enough to get the um, larger models. I can get a full size um, 132 fully built tank inside this with no problem at all. Um, it's easy to use. Um, press the time or temperature button. Um, it will flash. You can alter the temperature. Press it again. It will come up with the hours. You can decrease the hours to whatever you want to do. And then when you're ready, press start. And that's it. You just leave it going for four hours. Um, the This particular one goes to 80 degrees. Um, some of them do go hotter, but there's no need to have the uh, hotter ones, to be perfectly honest. Um, this machine is rated for uh, drying fruit and meat, fish, things like that. Um, so it's more than hot enough. Um, after the four hours it will turn itself off and it will slowly cool itself down. Now the advantage of using this is, you know, obvious. Um, you know, you use a uh, dehumidifier, it shortens it, the curing time, from three weeks to four hours, which means, you know, over a weekend you can, you know, almost finish a model. Um, I've certainly um, put varnish on, cured it, and done the weathering, and used the dryer um, dehumidifier to uh, speed up times um, when using weathering process and varnishes. Um, but the biggest uh, godsend for me really is for primers um, to reduce that curing time for primers. Uh, simple device uh, can be used for a number of things. Um, when not in use I also use it for um, keeping my models in to keep, to keep them dust free um, while I'm waiting for the next stage. Um, that's it really. See you.